impressive human beings and welcome to a new episode of Live Your Impressivity TV Show. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and make sure that you also hit the notifications bell so that you get notified every time when I bring new content to you every Tuesday. Every time when I go into a room and I speak about journaling or when I talk one-on-one -on -one with people about the power of journaling, I get asked this question. Alex, what is your morning journaling routine? So I thought, okay, I'm going to share this with you because I want to make sure that you also get to use journaling in your life a little bit more. And if you are inspired by this uh, routine, then you are going to try it out as well. Of course, as you know, I don't believe in recipes, so make sure that you watch this and then decide for yourself if you want to try this or maybe try something else that works for you and your lifestyle, because it's all about finding the pleasure in the experience of journaling and finding what really works for you. Now, as you know, when I journal, I also include meditation and I explain my ritual in depth in here in this video, so if you want to check it out, you can go and check it out. But in the morning, most of the times, this is how my morning ritual is. I start my morning with meditation and sometimes it's somewhere between 7 to 10 minutes. But if I have a little bit more time, then I like to extend my meditation time up to 20 minutes. This is usually the range where my meditation goes. So it never goes below seven minutes and it rarely goes over 20 minutes. However, if I plan to create a little bit more time for my meditation, then I make sure that I either wake up earlier or I set my time and my day in such a way that I have something starting a little bit later so that I can dedicate a little bit more time to meditation and journaling. Now, after I finish my meditation, I always have my journal next to me. This is a really big, important thing to do. If you have your journal next to you, then you will create that habit of writing in your journal right after your meditation. Or if you want to just skip right into journaling and you want to do that in the morning, then you want to make sure that you have your journal in sight, either next to your bed or on your uh, coffee table when you go and get your coffee somewhere in sight and easy to get to. If you just put it away and you don't see it, then it's so easy to just forget about it or to, you know, just skip this ritual. So make sure that you have your journal next to you if you meditate. I meditate and then I grab my journal and I allow myself the freedom to start writing if there's anything that comes up during my meditation. It can be either a feeling, it can be maybe an answer that I asked for, or anything that has to do with something that I had to process during my meditation. If that doesn't happen, most of the times I just use two very simple exercises that I start with. The first one is gratitude. You have heard me talk about gratitude very many times and so many other people talk about gratitude and I'm sure that if you try it, you will see the benefits. Gratitude is super powerful because it gets you aligned with that positive feeling of being grateful for what you already have in your current reality. Once you make sure that you are aligned with that beautiful feeling of being thankful for the people, the situations and the things that you have in your life, then you will be able to create anything else that you want. So I sit down and I start writing about gratitude. I feel grateful for. Now, the minimum that I write is three things. I start with maybe big blessings, maybe I start with something small that has been imprinted already in my mind from the previous day or from the previous evening, and I start with that, or I refer to the big blessings. Now, of course, we are all grateful for waking up, we're grateful for breathing, we're grateful that the sun came out every day, but it's important to bring it to our awareness. It's important to be conscious about it. That's why we put it down in our gratitude journal in the morning. So you can choose. If you don't feel inspired by something that has happened to you or someone that has inspired you, then you can use the big blessings. It's important to be aware of these things that make you feel grateful for your life and for being in the present moment. Of course, 
I don't limit myself to the three things. Most of the times I just keep writing because I remember about different things that make me feel grateful. So I want to stay connected to that feeling as long as possible. And I just go and start writing about that. Maybe if I'm grateful for a certain situation, I also go and describe it in a little bit more detail because it makes me feel good. And I do that sometimes for half a page, sometimes for one page, you know, it really depends. But most of the times it's writing about gratitude, at least three things and for at least half a page. Now, of course, you can go crazy. If you have more time, you can write as long as you want. The second thing that I write about is my intention. I move on to start my next paragraph with today my intention is. And it can be just one word. For instance, I can say that my intention is to have fun or my intention is to be productive during that day and I can leave it at that. Or I can go and I start writing more details. Maybe I want to write the goals that I have that will make me feel productive. Maybe I want to write about uh, the milestones that I want to achieve during that day. Or maybe I just want to start planning out my day in that specific paragraph. So it's really important to find whatever feels good for you and whatever you want to write in that paragraph about your intention. It's important also to imagine how you would feel at the end of the day because your intention is exactly that. What is it that you want to achieve or what you want to feel like during that day that will make you feel satisfied and proud of yourself at the end of the day? Now, again, this can be a very simple sentence. You can say that your intention is just one thing and or one feeling, or you can go into a little bit more depth. This, again, doesn't have to go more than one page or half a page. So usually my journaling ritual in the morning goes between one page to two pages because it's really simple and I keep it really focused. And I always, always end these two exercises with thank you, I love you. These are my two affirmations and mantras that I say to myself in the morning every single time when I wake up, even before I uh, open my eyes, I say to myself, I love you, Alex. Thank you for a new day because it really sets up the mood and I have been training my mind to say this in the morning for a very long time and now it just comes naturally. So you can find something that you want to say to yourself because it will completely change the way that you feel in the morning. Once again, this is how you can start your morning meditation and then your morning journal. You can do a short meditation just to connect with yourself in the morning for any time between seven minutes up to 20 minutes. You can start journaling about your uh, answers, your emotions, anything that came up during that meditation. Write about what you're grateful for. That's super important. Minimum three things that you're grateful for and minimum half a page. And then write about your intention for the day. Write about the intention either in the form of a feeling, of an emotion, or maybe write about your goals, anything that you want to accomplish during that day. And once again, it can be just one sentence, one paragraph, or one page. And last but not least, find a formula that you want to end that journaling uh, with because it's going to create a really beautiful momentum. It's going to set up for your next activity after you finish journaling. So this is it. This is my journaling routine in the morning and I am so excited that I got to share it with you and go ahead, give it a try. You can try it out for the next seven days, see how it feels for you. And if it's not right for you, then you can find something else that is really true to yourself and true to your uh, morning routine and to your lifestyle. Like I say, I don't believe in recipes, so it's up to you to tweak it and to find ways that feel good for you because all you want to do is create a beautiful and pleasant journaling experience so that you can continue using this into your life and you start seeing results. 
Thank you once again. Let us know in the comment below what is your morning routine with journaling. Let me know if you try this routine and what is your result. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Until next time, stay impressive!